welcome back to Underwater Math. I'm Sheriff Ali, and today we are working on rounding to the nearest hundred using number lines out here in the wild wild west. Yeehaw! When rounding to the nearest hundred, we find the multiple of 100 our number is closest to. Let's get rounding. Let me get my lasso out here and we can round ourselves up a number, I hope I catch a big one. I see a good one out there, old number 836. Gotcha. Alright, let's round this bad boy to the nearest hundred. Oh look, here comes our number line. Yeehaw! We are looking at the hundreds place. 836 is between 800 and 900. The midpoint on this here number line is 850 which means 836 will come about here. By using the number line, we can tell that 836 is closer to 800 than 900. 836 rounded to the nearest hundred is 800. Now let's get ourselves another number. Let me get my lasso back out. Come here number number. Oh, he's a big gun. Come here. Don't worry, all we want to do is round you. Gotcha. 961. We are still rounding to the nearest hundred. This one is a little trickier because of the nine in the hundreds. Bring that number line on in to help us on out. Yeehaw! The number is between 900 and 1000, 1000 is the same amount as 10 hundreds. Anyway, the midpoint is 950. 961 would fall about right here on the number line which means it is closer to 1000 than 900. 961 rounded to the nearest 100 is 1000. We've got one more that needs a little lasso in. Here he is now. 450. Let's round this guy to the nearest 100. Come on in number line. Yeehaw! 450 is between 400 and 500. The halfway point is 450. Wait just one quick minute. That's the number we are trying to round. It's right smack in the middle. But don't you worry one bit, when a number is exactly in the middle of two multiples, the rule says you always round M up. So 450 would round on up to 500. Alrighty y'all, you are ready to round numbers on your own. Good luck out there. 